definition I use for continuous deployment comes from my friend Timothy Fitz, and it's very simple. Safe, automatic deployments of frequent, small commits. Industrial Logic first started continuous deployment around 2010. We um, were already actively shipping our e-learning software to clients, um, software as a service, so you know, web-based service. And around 2010, we started the process of automating our pipeline to allow us to actually do continuous deployment, and that was breathtaking, it was fantastic. Recently, I talked to a customer who uh, was a student in one of my workshops down in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro, and he's at a new um, company in New York City, and he was saying how much he remembered a moment in the workshop that I taught. The students, there were about 30 plus students in the class, they were all typing away, um, working on our e-learning exercises, and one of the students found a, um, a little mistake. So what I did was I said, oh, wonderful, and I made a change in the code, I fixed the problem, and I deployed it, and then I showed the students that it had been fixed. You know, they were blown away because this all happened while they were using the system, right? I didn't ask them to pause and let me reboot the system or, you know, log off everybody. And, no, that's not how continuous deployment works. It's seamless. The customer doesn't even know you're changing the software underneath them. Unbeknownst to me, this little moment blew him away that I'd done that, that I could do that, that I had been empowered by continuous deployment to to make such changes so quickly. From the moment the student mentioned the problem to me actually having it live was nothing. Apparently he's worked for other companies and been telling that story ever since. And yeah, it feels good, you know, it, it's the kind of thing that, you know, continuous deployment makes you a superhero.